Welcome to Shakespeare's The Sonnets. Uh, let's get this started with today. Welcome to Cine Classics of Han Chang Zhong. Just kidding. I, I, I had Cine Classics is not hiring me to do this. I'm just using this book as the cover. Let's start this off. Sonnet number 21. Now this one is about what many people say. I'm not going to exaggerate because, because other people are exaggerating. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. Here we have a lot to do. Here in sonnet number 21, it's more interesting as it's talking to the young youth again, but to the poet as itself, the young youth's probably mad. I'm imagining the young youth as a mad person because he's not being compared to the heavens, unlike what other poets are doing. So he's like, he wrote this poem as an explanation. He wrote the sonnet as an explanation to why he wouldn't compare him to the heaven. And I better recite it first. So is it not with me as with that muse, stirred by a painted beauty to his verse, who heaven itself for ornament doth use, and every fair with his fair doth rehearse, making a complement of proud compare with sun and moon, with earth and seas rich gems, with April's first more flowers and all things rare, a heaven's air and this huge rondeur hems. Oh, let me true in love but truly right. And then, believe me, my love is as fair as my mother's child, so not so bright. All those gold candles fixed in heaven's air. Let them say more that like of hearsay well. I will not praise that purpose, not to sell. Ah, uh, well here, sonnets are supposed to be sold and read, and that equals a bunch of dollar, dollar, dollars. And for some reason back then, people liked reading uh, stories of beautiful women, or in this case, a uh, female like beautiful man compared to heaven. However, Shakespeare refused to write this and still got the dollar dollars because, well, he's Shakespeare. And we have way much more to actually talk about. Let's start out with uh, each line. Oh, well, in this case, octet. So is it not with me, with that muse uh, all the way to here? That heavens air in this huge run your hymns. From all the way from there to here, we talk about the young youth. The young youth is not compared to heaven. And he just says that he's not going to compare it to heaven too because he wants to write something truthful in this next part. That heavens air in this huge run your hymns. So let me true and love but truly write. And then believe me, my love is as fair as any mother's child, though not so bright. As those gold candles fix in heaven's air. Now that means that don't think that I don't actually love you because I don't write you about heaven, write, write you as I do about heaven. However, I will not compare you to a gold candles in the sky because unfortunately nothing can be compared to a gold candle in the sky. He wants to write something that praises their young youth's beauty, but is still truthful, not fake. And then our next one, next lines here, let them say more, like of here say well. I will not praise that purpose, not to sell. That's, this is the part that he basically says that I will want to write something that praises you, but I will not compare you to heaven just to get dollar dollar dollars because I truly love you and I don't want to I don't want to mm, exploit you that's it for today I hope to see you guys soon and until next time shout out peace bye bye so is it not with me as with that muse stirred by a painting beauty to his verse who heaven itself or ornament doth use and every fair with his fair doth rehearse, making a complement of proud compare with sun and moon, with earth and seas rich gems, with April's first born flowers and all things rare, the heavens and air in this huge rondure your hems. Oh, let me true in love but truly right, and then believe me, my love is as fair as any mother's child, though not so bright, as those gold candles fixed in heaven's air. Let them say more that like of hearsay well. I will not praise that purpose not to sell. Bye.